But right now, it's time to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Times of London says the now defunct tabloid News of the World hacked voicemails left by Prince William for Kate Middleton in 2006. A phone hacking trial revealed this morning that William called Kate Babykins. He was, is that how you say it? Babykins? Yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's okay. What's wrong with that? That's, Babykins. Yeah, that's cute. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, he was attending a military academy at the time. The Pittsburgh Tribune Review looks at a Pennsylvania man who won the raffle for a Picasso. 25 year old Jeffrey Ganano held the winning raffle ticket for Picasso's Man with an Opera Hat, believed to be worth about a million dollars. His ticket was picked at random by computer at Sotheby's in Paris yesterday. Ganano paid 140 bucks. For the masterpiece, he says he only recently became interested in art and was just looking for a picture to hang on his <laughs> living room wall. Well, now he's got yeah. one. And the Washington Post says the government wants to end NFL television blackouts. The Federal Communications Commission is proposing changes to the nearly 40-year-old rule meant to protect stadium ticket sales. If the games do not sell out, the local broadcast gets blacked out. To the great frustration of the fans at home, the FCC believes that rule is no longer useful.